Hey guys, welcome to another video. I didn't think I'd be saying this, but here we are. So, boot camps, are they worth it? Let's find out in this video. In this video, I'll be talking about the positive, the negatives of the boot camp. Now there is no right answer here and I want to make this clear at the start of the video because every single boot camp is different and every single person has a different experience to others and not all boot camps live up to the expectation that they set in the advertisement. So what are the positives? Now firstly, coding boot camps are far less expensive than a degree. So the average cost of going to a boot camp is around five to ten thousand pounds. Now I understand that this can be a lot of money for just a three months boot camp, but it's only a fraction of going to a university. Another positive of going to a boot camp is you focus on learning the skills currently in demand in the industry. So this is actually quite a big positive in my opinion because you're learning every single thing that the industry is in demand for because boot camps tend to run and structure the way the curriculum is based on what the industry needs, whereas universities have got a five to six year old curriculum and they kind of repeat that year on year. So the next positive of going to a boot camp is you skip spending time going over theories and writing assignments. Now this is great because you're building projects rather than writing assignments and it's the best way to learn to code because you're actually coming across issues that you wouldn't have if you're just writing assignments because when you are building a project yourself not following a tutorial but building a project you will come across issues that you've not seen and you learn how to solve the issues and where to look and what um, technologies to use to actually problem solve and finally the last positive of going to a boot camp and this might not be a positive for everyone but it's great if you're switching careers now this is great if you're looking to get involved with the tech industry because if you're switching careers and you're at a stage where you can't afford to spend four years at university to study then it's ideal because you'll get trained up on the latest technology that are in demand and you quickly get trained and learn to code uh, within the three months and hopefully land a job by the end of the three months so it's a win-win. Now these are all the positives that I'm going to go through. There are many, many others, but I don't want to go through a hundred of them and make this video ridiculously long. So what are the negatives? So the first negative and the biggest issue that I have is most boot camps are three months. If you look at this, three months isn't a long time. Will you really become a good programmer in that amount of time? Now, I'm not here to make you doubt yourself, but it's just a question for you to have a think. I'm sure if you put in the hours, not just at the boot camp, but outside of it, you'll become a brilliant programmer. But it's definitely a question to ask yourselves. My next negative of going to a boot camp is the preparation varies. So what I mean by this is boot camps tend to go through a lot of technologies in a short amount of time. And sometimes students won't understand the concept or won't understand the technology. And there's not a lot of time to actually sit one to one with the student and that makes the employer feel like the student isn't ready for employment. Now, my final negative of going to a boot camp is a lot of boot camps say 90% of grads find employment within six months. If you look at this stat, it's great. You know, personally for me, this was a stat that actually made me go to a boot camp. But the way I see this as a negative is, you know, 90%, but employment isn't guaranteed. It isn't guaranteed for anyone. But more importantly, I want to know how many grads off that bootcamp stayed on at their job. Um, you know, if they wanted to leave, that's fine. But how many actually stayed on and the employer kept them on after a year? So guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I understand that there are many, many other positive and negatives of going to a boot camp, but I wanted to make this video informative for you guys. And these were some of the positive and negative that stood out to me. Um, you know, so I hope you find it useful. And in the next video, I will talk about my personal experience of going to a boot camp. You know, all the positive 
all the negatives, how much I paid, what I learned, what is it all worth it. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions regarding boot camps, please feel free to leave a comment or send me a message on my Instagram page and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.